Hi, I'm Mikey G, and I'm going to give you a free art lesson today on getting brand new brushes ready to paint. When you first get a brush, there are certain things that have been uh, applied to it to protect it in shipping that you want to obviously change. Uh, first thing is that a lot of times it'll have a cover, which don't worry about it. Just take it off. Easy enough. You probably figured that much out on your own. However, there are a few things that might seem a little odd to you. One, you might notice that the bristles are really stiff, okay? Uh, this is, again, something that they do for packaging to protect the brush. They add something like a gum arabic, which is a uh, very typical uh, additive in watercolor. And it just stiffens the bristles uh, like a starch to give it a little bit more uh, strength so in case in shipping it gets you know, pushed on or pulled on, it will be more resilient. So it's water soluble. All you have to do is get the brush wet and break up the starch and it will get extremely soft uh, almost immediately. Now, the next thing that you have to be conscientious of with a new brush, and this is, <laughs> I can't say it's my pet peeve, it's probably every artist's pet peeve, is you've started to paint, you know, you're getting your color down, and then all of a sudden you see hairs coming out of your brush and onto your art. Uh, this can be extremely frustrating. I mean, if it's in watercolor and you try to get it out, you can, you know, smudge your lines up. Uh, if it's in oil or acrylic paints and you let it dry, I mean, you'll be pulling it out with tweezers and it might, you know, ruin the paint film. So it's best to just try to get rid of this stuff when you first get the brush. Now, the loose hairs are just the nature of manufacturing. Um, they're they're going to be in any brush at any time, and there's a way to prep it. So all you do is, after you've um, gotten the starch out, what you do is you continue to get it wet, and then carefully blot it, and then you're just going to use your, your thumb and index finger, and you're just going to try to pull and work out any loose hairs, I don't know if you can see that, that you might find in there. And, you know, don't, this won't take but just a minute, and it will ensure that that doesn't happen. It can be very frustrating. So whenever you get a new brush, just take the time to give it, give it a few minutes there, and then do, do the process again, re-soak it, because the water will help loosen up anything that's stuck in there, and just work out any loose hairs. That way, the brush is ready to go, and you won't have to worry about that anymore. Remember, when you're storing your brushes, you want to make sure that you get the shape of the head back to as close as it you know, was originally. You don't want to store the brush in a, you know, a fashion like this. It's not good for it. Uh, so you know, using your brush preservers or brush cleaners, just reshape the head. You can um, lay them flat, which is fine, or uh, hang them upside down, which is even better. But um, anyway, I hope that was helpful for you. I'm sure a lot of you guys have struggled with that in the past, where there's been a loose hair or something in your painting, and you want to know if there's a way to prevent that. So that's the way to go about it. Pre-soak and just use a little bit of pressure with your thumb and forefinger and just pull out any loose hairs. And after about two or three goes, that'll, that should get anything out of there and it will be ready to do nice, clean, fresh paintings. So I hope that helps and you enjoy. Thanks, see you next time.